from the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Illinois basketball finally gets back on the court for the first time in 13 days after 10 players tested positive for COVID-19, forcing the team to go on a post-Christmas pause, canceling the final non-conference game of the season, delaying the Minnesota game from Sunday night to tonight. The Gophers, a surprise of sorts in the Big Ten so far with a 10-1 record. They have also not played in a game since December 22nd. Jacob Grandison setting the tone early with his second three of the game just a few minutes in. Timeout Minnesota, it was 13-5. Then a little later, late in the shot clock, freshman Brandon Podjimski Hands off to Alfonso Plummer, drives step back long two, lead up to nine. And speaking of drives, Grandison going left side of the lane, foul, gets it to go as well with the friendly bounce, 25-11. Illinois after the free throw, he finishes with 11 points, one of three in double figures for the orange and blue. But turnovers get away from the Illini, four straight turnovers. E.J. Stevens takes advantage with the floater. Minnesota within seven at one point, but the Illini go right back to work. Kofi Coburn doing work with the left hand in the lane. He had 12 in the first half alone. It was 41-30 at the break. Coburn misses the layup in the second, fighting for his own rebound. Foul on the way back up, 48-30. Illinois was rolling and here's Coleman Hawkins figuring out his new role off the bench driving getting it to go the onslaught was on in the very next possession Demonte Williams heating up from three draining this one to give Illinois its biggest lead at 64 36 but the story is all Kofi Coburn Williams feeding the big man down low who eats big time the slam he finishes with a team high and a game high 29 76 53 the final Illinois wins its 10th game overall this season and third straight Big Ten game to open up conference play that hasn't happened since the 2010-11 season. Here's WCI 3's Andy Olson with more from the Twin Cities. If the college basketball world had forgotten over the past two weeks, Kofi Coburn reminded them Tuesday night what the All-American is capable of. In the return to the court, Kofi and the Illini looked like they hadn't missed a beat since their big win over Missouri 13 days ago. Our leadership has been excellent. I played a lot of guys early. I, I, I had no idea what our conditioning would be like. Ain't nothing but a thing at this point. COVID, injuries, uh, and on and on and on. Uh, you could just use it as an excuse. Um, or you could just rise to the occasion. Everyone was back healthy for Illinois after the game had to be pushed back two days to let the Illini meet the minimum number of players. But they didn't show any signs of rust, jumping out to an early lead and never letting go. Led in part by another Kofi double-double, his 36th all-time for Illinois. I think it's just the game plan that we had, you know. Coach, like, basically telling us what we, what we need to do and what we can get and just playing the game the right way. That's the beauty of being a junior and, and having played as many games as he's played and... Um, and turned himself in because of his hard work into one of the best players in the country. The Illini doubled up the Golden Gophers in the rebounding battle, grabbing 52 total. As much as Brad Underwood likes the number, it was a battle he was expecting to win. I think it's a big number because we forced him into some tough shots. We'll take it, and I thought we were active at times on the offensive glass, but we'll take that number any night. I mean, you know, we got guys with length and athleticism that, that you know, we, like Coach said, we need an offensive rebound. That's, that's definitely one of the, a part of our identity, and we try to establish that every game. Let's go into the offensive glass. It's a short rest before Maryland comes to Champaign, just one day. But if the Illini can roll their momentum to another conference win, it'd be their best Big Ten start since 2010. In Minneapolis, Andy Olson, WCIA 3 Sports. For even more Illini coverage, watch Brad Underwood's full postgame press conference right now on our website, WCIA.com, our Facebook, Twitter pages as well, also on YouTube. And Andy and I break down the game in long form on our WCIA 3 in 1 podcast. Andy gives his thoughts courtside from Minneapolis. Listen to episode 99 on all our podcast 